The DNA of Viclone is heavily embedded in music. I was a musician and I saw hundreds, thousands of people filming my shows on their cell phones. And those videos were lonely, they existed on their own. I wanted to connect the videos and make something more compelling, more meaningful out of those videos. We need to take people out of their device and introduce them to all the other people filming alongside them. The ability for a crowd to experience what people at the front row and on the stage and backstage are feeling and seeing is a very compelling thing. When we developed the platform, we realized that it had application beyond music. In fact, it transcended any one vertical and provided a solution for social video. When we began the Viclone project, we thought we'd use cell phones only because that's where all the cameras are. But a phone has limited real estate for editing and watching movies. So we wanted to bring it to the web so you could edit and synchronize dozens of movies together and watch them in all their high def glory. Bringing what we do to the web opens it up to a much wider market and gives everybody the ability to interface in this social video paradigm. Viacom's doing some really amazing things with their technology. We see people doing video all the time and they're, and they're doing some really neat stuff with it, social video, crowdsourcing with the video, but nobody's really looking into how do you take a single event and capture it from multiple angles and then put it in a tool that's so easy to use a five-year-old could do it. So we wanted to partner with them to see what we could do with a really cool web editor using just a browser. When we thought about bringing Viclone to the web, we had two main challenges. One was that the additional real estate available on the web let our imaginations run wild and we had to choose exactly which direction to go in. The second challenge is that there are different standards on different browsers which require different plugins to do different things. And Microsoft is really keen to standardize everything so that people can work across these browsers and different platforms, uh, which is one of the main reasons we partner with them. When you're inventing a new paradigm, a new technology experience, all the way along the process, you're presented with challenges, but thankfully we have teams here that rise to the occasion and find the solution. For this experience, there's a couple things that uh, we haven't really seen great examples of on the web before, and we think, you know, in a way this is kind of the first, where uh, the sheer amount of video manipulation that's going on in this experience, particularly the way that we have splicing and real-time editing, um, is just huge. And the second thing is the way that we look at touch experiences. We really want to create a best-in-class touch experience. Viclone users are coming from an experience on their cell phone, which is all about touch. It's all about interfacing with these and devices, and Microsoft brought that experience to a whole new dimension. As we were developing this, this experience that had a lot of high interactivity, we couldn't develop it the same way that we look at building other common websites. Um, examples of like MS Gesture and, and Mouse Move, uh, those events could be triggered up to 200 times a second. Uh, depending on the device that the user coming from. So we had to think of this experience almost the same way that we would build a video game. And we had to bring that game mechanic into the way that we developed it. Um, an example of you know ways that we solved for was using a request animation frame that allowed us to achieve a high level of functionality and, and video manipulation while giving the user the experience that they expected. We've been working on this project for a number of months together. We've made real friends in the Microsoft camp. And, and I think in no small part because of our visions being so closely aligned, we've built something that we're all incredibly proud of. I think the most technically impressive piece of this technology is really the cutting and editing of video using just HTML5 uh, and JavaScript. You know, just a few years ago, trying to reproduce video without any plugins was like science fiction, and now we're using you know, a modern browser like Internet Explorer. We think the future of video is in co-creation, people filming together. We want to be there leading the charge. I'm incredibly proud of what Viclone and IE10 have done together, and I cannot wait to see what's next.